Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Diagrams tutorial series, you will learn how to create map pin in PowerPoint. The map pin you will learn to create looks like this. It's a very useful thing, a uh, useful design element that can be used in a number of ways. One of the ways you can use it is of course to mark as a particular portion of a map as it is shown here or you can just put a number of them along a line to create your own timeline. So there are many ways you can use this particular design element in your business slides. Let me show you how to create this map pin using auto shapes. Uh, let us go to a new slide and let us do this particular uh, auto shape. Let us create this diagram from scratch. The first thing that we are going to do is go to auto shapes menu and under basic shapes you will find this particular shape called as teardrop. Click on it and while holding the shift tab draw the teardrop. Now as you can see here this particular the angle is facing to the top right corner so we actually want it facing down so all I'm, all I'm going to do is go to format shape and under the size option which you can also get from format size it's the, it'll all lead to the same thing rotate it to 135 degrees as soon as you do that you will see that the uh, yellow handle is pointing down this may not actually be the shape we want we would like to have this a little more sharper so I'm going to move this yellow handle down so I can get this very nice shape. The next step is to put a circle here so that I have some space to write my text. For this let me go once again to auto shapes menu and under basic shapes click on this one called as the oval tool and while holding the shift tab draw a circle. Now place the circle inside and you can also ensure that it is aligned properly by going to arrange after selecting both the shapes arrange align align center now this circle is right in the middle of this particular shape this you can go to shape effects preset and go for this preset called as preset 2 and you have your uh, map pin ready if you want this particular shape to be say a darker version and this one a lighter version and you can remove the outline you can do a number of things if you want to add some other design element all you need to do is I'm, I'm going to take a copy of this one I'm going to remove this portion from this to create a simple outline so what I'm going to do is I'll make a copy of this by pressing ctrl D so let me keep this here select this shape first which is the background shape and while holding the shift tab select the shape you want to remove and then go to format merge shapes and go to subtract you can use the subtract option even in powerpoint 2010 of course for that you need to call those commands to your uh, quick access toolbar you can always find how exactly to create quick access toolbar in one of our articles in presentation process site all right so now that you've done this the next thing is to draw this circle somewhere in the middle so I'm going to reduce the shape a little bit and then put it here now when I align them both by selecting both the shapes and go to home arrange align align center you can see that there is a difference in the there is a variation of the map pin now select both of them Control G and you can add some shadow to make this pin look authentic you can see here the shadow also has this nice uh, uh, gap which makes the whole diagram look very very beautiful now let me show you how exactly to use this to locate or to mark a particular portion of a map for the example purpose I have taken this picture of a world map it is just a picture now right click go to format picture which takes you to this particular page this particular menu and under 3d rotation 
go to this preset under perspective called as perspective relaxed what this will do is to put give a perspective to this particular picture if you want to uh, reduce the angle a little bit more so you can actually do this by going to Y rotation and click here till the time you are happy with the perspective angle now all you need to do is to go back pick up this particular shape that you have created just now and then come back and stick it in the area where you want to mark say for example you want to mark US and you can always keep it here and of course you can write your text here you can write your text here you can use this particular marker the way you want so that is how you create map pin in PowerPoint there are some interesting variations you can create for map pin and also there are some interesting ways in which you can use the idea that we discussed earlier about creating a timeline using map pin so we will talk about those as we move along now I'm going to show you the example templates taken from our PowerPoint CEO packs the first example I'm going to show you is this one where we have added animation to the various uh, map pins to create the four stages of a timeline let me show you another example and here we have created a 3d call out using the pin and uh, this is created purely using the 3d format options available in PowerPoint and this looks very nice and let me show you another example of marking points along a process so these are three points along a process we have used spheres glossy spheres to mark three stages or three steps along a process and this again is created entirely using auto shapes and then from start to finish we talked about how you can use not just a map pin you can also use a flag and this is how we have marked three points along um, a process from start to finish so those are some of the ways in which you can use the map pin if you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create such professional looking graphics for yourself you can always take a look at off-the-shelf solutions like our PowerPoint CEO packs volume 1 and 2 the two CEO packs have more than 1600 fully editable charts and graphics for CEOs and busy business presenters like you just choose the template that matches your thought and replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time. Creating professional quality business slides has never been easier. Hope you liked our tutorial on creating map pin in PowerPoint. If you want to learn more such tutorials, read articles to improve your presentation skills and PowerPoint skills, or watch more videos like this, please visit us at presentationprocess.com. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.